All right, so I'm sitting here with Wine Currency. What it do, bro? What's happening, man? All right, so we're going to start off with, uh, how did you get the name Wine Currency? Man, it's kind of crazy, though, man, real shit. It's like, man, my brother growing up when I was young, he used to always call me Juan, man. Every time I come in the room or something, Juan. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So it just kind of carried on, you know, over time and stuff. I started thinking, you know, if I really want to hit this industry and really want to pursue this, I got to have a name that's going to be able to be versatile instead yeah. of just having something that's strictly street or something like that. So at the end of the day, I thought of Juan. But one thing for sure, I'm very motivated and I love money, man. Right I've been on. infatuated with money for a long time right since on. a kid. So, you know what I'm saying? It's currency, you know what I'm saying? Not only just money, but, you know, currency is different things that can equal up to, you know what I'm saying, and use as money. Yep. So that's where that came about, man. For sure, for sure. All right, all right. So where did you grow up? Uh, I grew up on the south side. I, mean, I started off on the south side, off of Oakwood, you know, in Glenwood and stuff like that, man. You know, Oakwood Island. I was the only motherfucker in the area with a basketball court, man. <laughs> Everybody used to come over there and fuck with me and yeah, shit, man. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Real shit, man. I used to hoop like a motherfucker till the streets got a hold of me. But yeah, grew up on Oakwood Island afterwards. You know, got older and stuff, started fucking around in Zone Six, off of over there on Brown and shit. You know, Brown and McCoskey. Okay. You know? Okay. Shit, yeah. that's what that, was, that turned to the stumping ground right there, man. Right on, right on. So what what was it like, you know, growing up in Saginaw, South Side, then over to Brown Street on the east? What what, what was it like? Man, it was crazy, man. It was bad crazy. But at the end of the day, you know, a nigga always knew you know, a lot of people. I had people from over here. I had family on the South Side. I had family on the East Side. But you know what I'm saying? This is where we at now. You know what yeah, I'm saying? This yeah. is where we vibing with, you know what I'm saying? That area, you know what I'm saying? And everything, there ain't nothing but love, you know? Right so. on. Right on. Cool, cool. All right, so wine currency, you know, grew up, Saginaw, you no know, different sides of the town. What made you want to rap, though? Man, I always had a, like, I always loved music, man. Growing up, my pops always played it. Pops always play music, cleaning up anything, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And specifically on his side of the family, you know what I'm saying? Music, that's just, you know what I'm saying? We all love music, man. And growing up, it was like, I used to hear music and be like, dang, man, I think they should have did this on this song or that. All right, they ain't do that beat right, you know yeah. what I'm saying? And stuff yeah, like that. So it started becoming a thing of maybe I should write music. Maybe I should start doing what, you know what I'm saying? I feel like the next should have did on that song or something like that. Yeah. So that's why I started beginning, you know what I'm saying, having passion for making music. Yeah, see? Yeah, yeah, I heard it. I heard it said that if you were ever listening to something or watching something, and you can notice a mistake like you said, right. and you feel like can be correct, that's when you know, you know, you, you ready to start doing right. whatever that is, or you got right. a passion for it. So yeah, I see you. Uh, who do you look up to in the in the rap game? Man, I, I look up to Jay most. You know what I'm saying? I right give on. big shots out to Jay Z, man, because right he on. came straight from the slums, man. Right straight on. up. And you know what I'm saying? You look at him now, halfway to a bill. You know what I mean? At right. the end of the day, that's a big accomplishment, a big step. That's a lot of goals. You know what I'm saying? And not only that, he stayed focused. Right. Because right. you can read the book, what is it, Decoded, and he tell you it's times where he was in and out them streets. Yeah. And you know what I'm saying? It's easy to have them streets come and snatch you up, man, because at the end of the day, that fast money. It's going to always, it's going to always be that temptation. Yeah. Because a lot of people ain't ready to take that route. You know what I'm saying? Actually being a real, you know, nine to five person. Yeah. Because yeah. at the end of the day, you got everything around you as a young individual growing up too. You got everything around you. You know what I'm saying? The fast cars, the women and all that other stuff. What, what yeah. person ain't going to give in to that? Especially, you know, growing up back in them days. Right on. So, you know what I'm saying? From, you know, him to make that, that move that he took. Yeah. Yeah, man. I look up to Jay, man. He's a nice one right there. I feel you. I feel you on that. Uh, okay, cool. So, with Jay being one of your one of your influences, name. I would want you to. What is your top five influences in music? You know, besides Jay. Uh, I say, uh, that boy Wayne, man. Wayne Gift, he brought something different to the rap game, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I like Gooch. Gooch, man, oh, definitely, you know what I'm saying? He brought a different, you know what I'm saying, type of style and all. Yeah. Uh, Dolph, just now, right now, you know what I'm saying, my man? <laughs> yeah. Dolph, he bringing it, you know what I'm saying? He bringing it, man. You know what I'm saying? I like the energy that he bringing right there, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Yep. So, you know, and then it's like, I always, I always love Nas, man. It's right. Lyrical, right. you know what I'm saying? Very lyrical. And then, three, what, Andre 3000. Okay. Okay, you know yeah, what that's saying? A that's a broad, uh, 
uh, choosing. You know, not all from the same background. I like that. All right. I like that. Okay. So, uh, what do you think about the Saginaw rappers, or rappers in Saginaw in general? What do you think about them? Man, I honestly feel like, man, I mean, the dudes need to go and put that pride to the side, man, and start dealing with each other. Because at the end of the day, man, shit, we can make it happen just like everybody else. I know. But at the end of the day, everybody too busy and worrying about themselves and all this other stuff instead of coming together, man. Come on now. I mean, look at all these other cities, man. These other, I mean, even though other cities is bigger. Yeah. But at the end of the day, man, it's enough of us to go ahead and give ourselves buzz and stuff like that, man. To go ahead and help each other out. You know what I'm saying? Right on. It's here. But ain't nobody trying to take them real steps. Yeah. Um, yeah. Only thing is, it's, it's kind of hard to speak on, it, man, because yeah. it's like Saginaw, like everybody doing their own thing. That's true. That's true. I agree. I, I think we should come together. And I think that, you know, one of our downfalls people look at is that we small, but I actually think it's our advantage as well. Right. You know, and if we work together on, on a lot of things, I know that having that small town with everybody's and reach with everybody. The communication is so quick. Right. I definitely think we can come together and make something happen. Right. So, all right. What do you What do you think about uh, Saginaw? Does it sound uh, well? When I say, what do you think about Saginaw? What do you think about Saginaw music scene compared to Detroit? You think we sound like them, or you think we? Do you think we similar? How do you think we uh, we honest, mesh with Detroit? To be honest, man, I feel like. Just it, a lot of people don't have their own personality when it comes to music. Yeah. You got a lot of artists, you know what I'm saying, from Saginaw and Detroit and all. We sound like each other. All right, that's trying to sound biting another style, biting, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You got to find out who you is as a person first. Yeah. And then you start coming along with stuff like that, develop your own sound. Right on. So at the end of the day, everybody else, you're going to stand out. Mm -hmm. They black and white and you color. So, you yeah. know what I'm saying? That's what it's all about. That's why when I first started writing and stuff like that, it became a thing of, all right, I got to make a, you know what I'm saying? Wh who am I? Yeah. Whereas I'm, a, you know what I'm saying? I can't just come from every other style sounding like this dude and this dude, but at the end of the day, who, you know what I'm saying? I know. I know. That makes sense. And I ain't adding up with, you know what I'm saying? So, at the end of the day, it's just like, you can't make a mixtape or think you're going to blow up off another person. Yeah. Well, it's been done, but nah, hey, you ain't going to last too long. I know. Right on. All right, and then a lot of people from Saginaw, they either move when they get out of here. It's like three places they go. They go to one of the Carolinas, but then they go to mostly Texas or Atlanta. Do you think Saginaw artists sound like Atlanta or the down south rappers? Yeah. Think we do? Yeah. <laughs> Shit, I'm about to get up out of here, but the thing yeah, is, though, yeah, I mean, yeah. to be honest, I wouldn't even say I got a Midwest sound to me. Yeah. I sound like, you know what I'm saying, I got that South cause style because I always liked the, the South. Yeah, man. yeah. I always studied, you know what I'm saying, they style because mm -hmm. the, the South brought something totally different to the rap game. True, true. And you know what I'm saying, and look how long they've been having it, you know, they've been holding it down for a minute. They still up at that. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So at the end of the day, that's something, you know what I'm saying, I, I actually like their style, you know what I'm saying, I like, you know what I'm saying, the way they come. Mm-hmm. And I, and I think that uh, like a lot of people that I look up to in the music game came from down south. So to say they, you know, you know that we, I wouldn't say that we sound like them, but you know, who you look up to definitely influence you. So you know, I, I would say that some of my uh, music kind of sounds from the south. You know, it was right. impacted by the south. So yeah. But uh, what's your plan in the rap game? What do you plan to do in the business? Man, I plan on you know what I'm saying developing a. A, a fan base that I want y'all to sit, you know what I'm saying, front seat of my life, you know what I'm saying, yeah. and have y'all ride along with me, you know what I'm saying, from the bottom to the top, and you, you know what I'm saying, I want them to experience everything that I'm going through, so at the end of the day, we all on one page, we, you know what I'm saying, I make it to the next step, y'all making it to the next step too, so if I'm getting some type of, you know, I start reading or start doing certain things, best believe I'm going to be giving that out too, yeah. at the end of the day, it's all about self-development, at the end of the day, it's like, Ain't too many people talking positive. Ain't too many people. I mean, I ain't really always talking positive at the end of the day. It's all about, no, nah, it ain't all about all the other stuff that, you know what I'm saying, the guns, the drugs, and all that other stuff. Yeah, man. yeah. At the end of the day, it's about, you know what I'm saying, getting the community together and we rising above all this. Right on. Right on. Cool, cool. All right. So what do you what do you have to offer to the, to the rap game? You know, it's saturated with millions of artists or millions of people that think they could be the next Jay-Z or the next 50. So what do you have to offer to the rap game? Uh, I got truth. <laughs> the truth, man. <laughs> right on. Original, you know, my own style, man. I got something. I got, I, I, I got things. You know, honestly, you know, I stand out from a lot. 
Yeah. Because I, I live I live a hell of a life, man. And there ain't too many people can say they done did the things that I done done. Right on. Coming straight home from five years of prison, man. Came home, I ain't even have an address to use. I had to go to the shelter. Yeah. With nothing but one pair of shoes and, you know what I'm saying, and a pair of jeans a little bro done gave me, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's like, man, I done came from that. Look at me now, you know? Mm -hmm. I done made a lot of steps, you know, in two years alone. Yeah. So it's like, you know, I feel like, and that's just that. Right on. That's two years already from, you know what I'm saying, just coming home. And now, imagine where I'm be another three. Yeah. So, you know, I feel like, honestly, I got a lot to bring, man. Right on. And I, I feel like, um, being how, uh, you know, they say the rich are getting richer, the poor are getting poor, like the grind, the grind get crazy in the hood. So I feel like a lot of people can relate to you. Right. Like you actually live in the experience and being able to relate that or, you know, put that on the track. I feel like a lot of people can relate to you. Right. And you be able to help some people out. So, yeah, I dig that. What about, this is, this is something different. I uh, see what you think about this. This has been trending in the rap game. A lot of people play with it for, for the fame. But what do you think about rap beef? Man, a lot of it, man. It's all acting, man. That's yeah. what I honestly <laughs> believe. I don't believe it's really true, man. Because yeah. a lot of times it's just to keep the next day name jumping. Yeah. At the end of the day, think about it. Every time it's a beef going on, an album about to get dropped or a mixtape about to get dropped. True. So, you know what I'm saying? Come on, man. It's helping both ends. Yeah. At the end of the day, I don't, you know what I'm saying? I, I ain't going to hate on it or nothing that. Yeah, you know what I'm yeah. saying? That's what you do or nothing, you know, and all, but I ain't. I'm good on that, man. I'm right just on. focused on me, man, in my own lane, dog. And at the end of the day, you know what I'm saying, altercation come, I know how to deal with them. Yeah. But at the end of the day, it's just like, no, I ain't out here looking for none of that because what I'm really pursuing is this money, man. Right on. That's more yeah. important, especially if you out here and you're a provider. Right on. So I know. All right, so any new projects? What, uh, what yeah. you got coming for the people? Right now, you know what I'm saying, for the rest of the year, we're going to go ahead and keep on pushing this Dog Food Cowboy mixtape. Right on. But next year, I'm, well, I'm already starting on Dog Food Cowboy too already. So, you know what I'm saying? In between time, you know, I'm probably drop a few little mixtapes and stuff like that, but I'm really looking at having this DFC2 uh, mixtape. So that's going to be one of the big projects right there. So, for the summer, for the rest of the year, we're going to go ahead and do some shows and keep promoting this Dog Food Cowboy mixtape. Right on. Yeah. That's that's one of the main things. I ain't really focusing on too much, but the main thing, these goals right here, so I can go and accomplish those and get that out there. In the meantime, between time, you know, any features come or anything like that, I'm all for it. Okay, okay, cool, cool. All right, well, good chopping it up with you, Juan. Most definitely, man. Keep it going. Right, we know we're going to hear from you soon. You can't wait to hear that new that new music, see them new videos. So stay up, fam. Most definitely. All right.